guys, welcome back to Shay's Way. Today is part two of my turtle saddle fit trying out haul. So we got the stirrup leathers here and the girth here as well. This is the girth with the rubber attachment to it. And we're gonna try it out today in our jumping lesson. So if you guys want to jump with Rocket and I and see how these do, keep watching. What's up guys? So here are how the stirrup leathers look on the saddle. I thought they looked pretty sleek, you know, and they blended very well and nicely into the saddle. Also, when you like flip them up, it looks really cool. Like it doesn't look very obvious that they're flat. It doesn't look like, it doesn't stand out in a bad way. And it actually looks like really like fancy. I kind of like it. Very cute. Look at that. What a look for my saddle. She's stunning. And then this actually was so satisfying to do. Like it's like, it just goes really nicely. And then the girth. Oh my gosh, it fit Rocket so well. Look at how it's like perfectly on his body and it didn't like budge at all. It looked very secure on him and it was in the right place and it did not budge. So that's pretty cool. And then I got on and I don't know why it was in time-lapse mode, but enjoy that. And then we started going and here is us starting our lesson. This is me trying out the stirrup leathers and the girth. So while I was hacking, I got used to the different feel and it was way different than what I'm used to because I'm used to like the regular stirrup leathers. So it's just kind of like a different feel. Like I definitely, it took a couple adjustments to make with my like feet in the stirrups and everything, but it worked out pretty well. We started off with a combo. Rocket was pretty funny throughout the combo. At first he like cantered through it, which he wasn't supposed to do. And then he trotted. And then we cantered through it because that's what we were supposed to do. But we had to trot out first. This is Rocket hanging out with his bestie Aspen. She likes to scratch him, but when he tries to scratch her back, she tells him, no, back off. I'm only scratching you. And it really confuses him, but that's just kind of a mare thing, you know? And then we went back in after his little scratch session and we did like the rest of our lesson. So I went from the combo to this next jump. And Rucka was not a fan of this jump. Like you'll see him, he's like, are you sure? And he's like, okay. But he did not like it the first time he went around it but he jumped it, so that's a very good thing. And then after that, we went to this combo. It's like a two stride and we had to trot in and then canter out, which is actually kind of hard because it's an oxer, so you have to really give them a leg. Otherwise, it's a disaster because oxers make them like jump wider, you know? And then after that, he went back to his scary jump, but he jumped it so nicely. And then we had to go to this jump and I like this jump a lot, but Rocket was like, why is it like that? Like he does not like the design. He always looks at it, but he still jumped it. So that was cool. And then we went to this line and it was like um, a vertical to an oxer. And this is it at a lower point now, but it gets higher at the end of the video. <laughs> and then Rocket jumped it really nice. So he got good Rocket pats. Also, I had to adjust my stirrup length because I put them too long, and so I adjusted them one up to be shorter, and that seemed to fit me better because I like to ride on a short stirrup. I feel like it, I don't know, helps me not swing my legs as much, and a lot of like jumpers ride on a short stirrup, so I adjusted that. Then we got back into the action, and we basically just did a very similar course, except the jumps are a little bit up now. And so we did our trot in, canter out with the oxer a little bit higher, but not too crazy high because like, that's pretty hard to do to like trot in and canter out. And then we went from the vertical to this one, which was a little bit higher as well. And then we went back to our other line. And this was my favorite line. It was a lot of fun because it got raised higher. I just like jumping high. <laughs> Rocket likes it too. Look at his ears go. He's like, oh yeah. And then we jumped the oxer. He was perfect. Chef's kiss. And here's another like angle of us jumping. This is our whole like course. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Rocket was so good and it worked really well. Like I was a little nervous to ride a new stirrups, a new girth and a jumping lesson, but it worked out very nicely. I didn't die. So that's always a good thing. And Rocket was stunning. He jumped everything. He got great distances. I was very proud of Rocket. So overall it was really good. It was a great lesson and these stirrup leathers as well as the girth worked out perfectly. So here's me just like walking Rocket out after his lesson and we will go into our little review. 
Okay, guys, let me give you guys my full review. So, the girth, I, of course, I love the girth. Like, you guys know I already love the girth. I think I prefer the leather over the neoprene just because Rocket is a very, like, sweat-prone horse. So, my man, like, sweats a lot. Like, he... He always is sweating. Like it's, I don't know, like 60 degrees out and he's still sweating. I think that the neoprene made him sweat a little bit more than he usually does with the leather one. But it's fine because I can just put the leather one back on and it is very good. What I did like about the neoprene one is that it really stuck to him nicely and it didn't like move around or move the saddle around. So the girth was nice and firm. Oh. Rocky! <laughs> Rocky. Thank God. Anyway, um, I think I'll keep using the leather one just to keep his sweat retained because my man is fungus prone. But if your horse is like not fungus prone or doesn't sweat a lot, then I do recommend that you try out the neoprene one because it's really nice. Like it sticks to their coat well and it, he had really good mobility in it and he didn't feel like anything was different. He felt pretty good in it. He was a really good boy today, so. Okay. As for the stirrup leathers, those are really cool. The design is very interesting. I like how it provides a lot of stability. Like my stirrups didn't move around at all, which is nice because a lot of the time like they get twisted, as I said in my first video. And so they all just stayed in like the right position the whole time. It does have a lot less flexibility than like normal stirrup leathers, but that's kind of like a give and take kind of thing. Like it keeps your legs actually in the right position when you ride, which is good. If you're like somebody that likes, I don't know, a little bit more freedom of leg movement, you'll You'll notice a bit of a difference. Hi. <laughs> no. But if you're like in hunters or if you're like struggling to keep your legs in like the right position, those stirrup leathers will be really helpful for you. And I actually thought that was really good about them. When Total South it says that they provide stability. They do provide stability. I really like that about them. It's really cool to ride with them. So they gave me two to see which one fit and the smaller pair fit better because I got small little legs. I got the right fit. So I was really excited about that. And they slide onto the saddle really well. And they're also very easy to like tie, put the stirrups back up. Like I was worried about having to like, you know how you like put the stirrup back up on the saddle? I don't know what that's called, but like you don't want them to hang down. You can do that really easily and it looks so nice. So I was actually really surprised by how cool it looks like with the saddle. It's very pretty. And I definitely recommend that you guys try out the brand Total Saddle Fit because Oh, it's such a good brand. Like, honestly, it deserves more hype. It deserves the hype. Okay, guys, let's go give Rocket some carrots. We have colored carrots. Rocket barely let me show him the carrots, but he's eating them. He loves carrots. Good job. Look at how it ends on the inside. Isn't that wild? Isn't that wild? What do you think? Do you like that? Okay, we're going to make him turn his head now because I'm working on getting his neck to bend. He's gonna make him do it again. Oh, much better, much better. It's right here. Right here. No, we don't cheat, we don't cheat. Up here. Yes, good job. Okay, that's good. You get another one. Come here. He has to do five of these a day. so much better at that. He's gonna learn to move his neck to be able to touch his booty. Like he's gonna be able to touch his flank. You gonna do that, Rocket? Yeah. Okay guys, that's it for this video. If you liked it, make sure to leave me a like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out Total Saddle Fit's website and their Instagram at Total Saddle Fit. They have amazing products. I really recommend that you try them. The products are literally life-changing and they have such cool designs. Also, don't forget to ring the bell because then you get notified when Rocket eats. I have merch, so go check out my merch links down below. They're in the description and under my video and you'll really like the merch. It's really cute. Okay, let's do some video shout outs. Shout out to Whitney. Shout out to Adriana and Willow. Shout out to 123 Horses. Shout out to Equine Divine. Shout out to Lydia Tomashek. Shout out to April Bagley. Shout out to Julie Lohman. Shout out to Tessa Murano. Shout out to Ileana Fuentes Flores. Shout out to Sweet Cece. Shout out to ABC Eventing Eventer. And last shout out goes to Corinne Yellow Rider. If you guys want to be the next video's video shout outs, then don't forget to comment on this video or any of my other videos. Or you can comment on my Instagram, Shay's Way Official, TikTok, Shane Rocket, Twitter, Shay's Way Slate, and Facebook, Shay's Way. Okay, thank you guys again so much for watching. Have a great day. Okay, bye.